Hello everybody, welcome back to CSS3 in 30 days. Today is day number 20, and we are gonna be making some random animated pyramid. Let me show you what's going on here. So I needed an idea for a project to make, and I was starting to run out of inspiration, and I thought, what can we make that's interesting, possibly practical, and exercises some CSS3 chops? And the best I could come up with in this particular moment was an animated triangle. So here it is. On your journey to CSS3 mastery, spend at least 20 minutes learning how to code a triangle. Okay, so let me show you before, before you skip this video and go do something better with your time. Um, we have a little triangle here, and when you hover over the triangle, watch what happens. It's a lot more interesting than what you see on the screen so far. Here we go. So check it out. When you hover over this triangle, it creates a bigger triangle with two other layers, and then text appears and the colors change. So it's actually kind of interesting, and it's super easy to make, and it is practical. So it did check off all the boxes. Uh, and the, the way I might think of how you might display this is if you were... If you had a piece of text or maybe you offered a service, let's say you're a web designer and you, you're building a portfolio website and you wanted to display the services you offer. This could say, you know, I'm hiding the text. So this could say services and then when you hover over services, it splits down and shows the services that you create. They could be images as well. Uh, if you wanted to display maybe like, um, you know, different layers of a project. If you had like the final final project in like the top part of the triangle and then like the wireframes and then, <laughs> you know, then the sketch below, I don't know, just coming up with random ideas here, but maybe you have some thoughts on how you might use this. And it's simply three elements that, that when you hover over them, they just animate down and appear. The interesting that's happening here is that they're actually, these elements are actually three rectangles. And I'm not using borders to create a triangle like we did in a, in a previous lesson just a couple days ago. I'm actually clipping the entire element. So this whole thing is wrapped in an element called triangle and triangle is clipped to a custom shape that I created of a triangle. Now, let me show you in the code editor what is going on so you know what I'm talking about. So go ahead and download 20 animated pyramid and uh, fire it up in your code editor and let's get started. Here in index, I'm gonna show you the markup looks simply like this. Div with the class of triangle, wrapping three individual divs with the class of top, mid, and bottom, and then text within each of the divs. That's it. Now, what we're going to do in our sandbox is simply style those up, clip it, and uh, transition it. It's really quite simple. So let's just get started. Here in the sandbox, uh, we're gonna get started and we're just gonna style up the triangle. Triangle is going to have a position of relative height of 320 pixels. That is the total height of, of the triangle when it's done. And, uh, and I'm going to leave the clip path for now. We're going to start with just rectangles and we'll do the shape after. So you know what's going on triangle, uh, and then div. So we're selecting the divs within the triangle. And those are the three individual divs background, red, width 100%, height 100 pixels. We'll start with the bare bones here. We're gonna go margin, zero, auto, and color white for the text, uh, just so you can see everything. Let's give them a little space just so you can see. Uh, margin, zero, auto, and then 10 pixels on the bottom, just for now so you can see. There we go, we have three, three red triangles. Now let this shape is not only a rectangle, but can sometimes be a triangle. Let's uh, tighten up the text a little bit. We're going to say line height 100 line height 100 pixels. So it's vertically centered. Text align center. Font size 0.8 M. If we save that, refresh it. So now we have top, mid, and bottom. So we have the three rectangles. Let me show you what happens when I mask the entire element with a clip path. So now, watch, this is where magic comes in. So we're going to say up in triangle, clip, path. We're going to do polygon. And here's how it works. We did have a lesson on creating custom shapes. So if you want to understand, if you forgot how this works, go back to that lesson, creating custom shapes using clip path. Uh, and then you'll understand how these coordinates work. But let's start here. So we're going to have three 
comma separated couples of values. So let me, let me show you how this works. So we have 50% and zero. So if I leave it at that, let's see what happens. You can't see anything because we need other coordinates. So comma separate the next two values, 20% and 100%. Save that, see what happens. Still can't see anything. Okay, and now we're gonna do one more, 80% and 100%. Save that, let's see what happens now. There's your triangle, the end result of the shape. You see how it's masked. So you can only see what's within this window. Now, if I change these values, you can customize the shape. So if I said like 50% there, it looks like this. Uh, you know, 10%, it's actually got a longer left side. So if I were to say zero, this might help you understand. So that's the 0% mark on the X axis, yes. And then if I move that over 20%, it's actually going in 20%. And then 100%, let me change that to like 80%. It's actually, now it's on the Y axis. It's on the vertical axis, the Y axis, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And so now it's 80% down from the top. But if I want it 100% down from the top, it's gonna to give me that perfect shape. You can have it any shape you really want. You can make it a really wonky looking shape like that if you want, it's kinda of neat. Uh, but I'm just going for a perfect triangle, which is 50% in from the top left and zero. So it's staying on the zero uh, up here that on the Y axis. And then you got 20% in and then you got 100% down and then 80% in and 100% down. Creates the triangle. Beauty. Love it. Now let's hide those two, the mid and bottom uh, shapes, rectangles, you can call them polygons, and hide them up at the top and then show them on hover. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to position absolute, the triangle div. We're gonna to say top zero. We're also gonna hide the text. So the color of the text is gonna be red. And we're gonna remove that margin auto 10. It's just gonna be margin zero auto. So there we go, save that. Now you can only see that triangle. So now we're in the right place. But when we hover, nothing happens because we're not telling it to do anything. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say down here, triangle hover, so on hover of the triangle, not the triange. The word triangle is versatile and can also be pronounced triange. Div, uh, color white, so all the colors of all the divs are gonna be white. And now all the, the mid and the bottom are gonna be separate positions. So, so all we need to do is move the position of the of those elements separately. I don't want to have them both be like, you know, top 100 pixels because what's going to happen is they're all just going to move down to there. It's it's really really weird. So we only want the middle and the bottom ones to move. So now we're going to say triangle hover and then the class of mid. So we're selecting mid we're gonna move it down. See, if I move it on 100 pixels, let's see what happens. And let's change the background while we're happening, while we're here to green. So let's see what happens. So you see mid and still the top, but it's actually the bottom one is hiding up there because of the Z index. So we're actually gonna fix this really quickly. So the reason why I'm, what I'm gonna do now is bottom is, is, is here. We can see it within this clip path and mid is actually working. There's no gap there, we'll fix that but I wanna fix the Z index of the top. So let's actually go here uh, before the hovers. So we're gonna say just top Z index one. That should just put it in the front of everything. So top is the one that you always see. So that when it animates, the top is always in the front when the other ones slide out behind it rather than the other ones sliding out in front of it, which would look just a little off. Okay, and now let's see, where was I? Let's go. Um, back to our triangle hover mid and move it down 110 pixels because I want that gap in between them. Like that. Cool. Okay. And now the, uh, the other thing we need to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it, change it to bottom. Now we need to move it down 220 pixels because we're going down another 100 pixels. Change the color to blue. 
save that, refresh, hover. Now your triangle appears, but it doesn't look very exciting because it's just appearing and that's not actually doesn't have any meaning to the to the you know the functionality and it's just weird. It's quite off-putting. So all we have to do now is actually under the triangle div style say transition. So it's not a true animation, it's actually just a transition. We're going to transition all of the things that can be transitioned, so position, color, um, background, you know, height, anything that we change will transition with an ease at 0 0.6 seconds. Save that, refresh, now try. So there we go. That looks, that looks good. And that's it. Now let me just show you actually why I did this top Z index one. I'm going to take that out and show you. When I hover now without that, you see how they're, the color, these ones are coming from the top. They're coming from in front of the element. Maybe if I did it really slow, like six seconds, you'd see it. Watch. See how it's bottom and mid? They're coming out from in front of top. I don't actually want that. I want it to slide out from, see? I want it to slide out from behind. So by having that Z index, and let's do uh, the six seconds again, it looks more like this. They slide out from an under like that. That's a bit more of what I want. And maybe what I want to do is actually give mid a Z index in front of bottom so it doesn't, so bottom doesn't slide out in front of mid. Okay, so let's say mid, we'll just go like this. Mid, it gets a Z index of one and top gets a Z index of two. Save that. Now watch. There we go. Now bottom slides behind mid, mid slides behind top. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's go back to our 0 0.6 second transition. Now try it. Pew. That looks clean. There we go. And that's it. That's, uh, that's it for today's animated pyramid project. Now, the way you might use this is totally up to you depending on your project, on your website, maybe it's a portfolio thing and you're displaying information. There's lots of interesting things you could do. You can use different shapes. You don't have to use a triangle. You can use a circle. You can have more elements that slide out. Uh, there's lots of different ideas that you can do. So maybe that gave you some ideas. Maybe that kind of made you think of a few different things. Uh, either way, you got to spend uh, 10 or 15 minutes with me making an animated triangle. So, hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow in day number 21.